Hey everybody, uh, had a long day, long week, uh, about ready to turn in, and all of a sudden I remember I got something in the mail. So here we go, guys. So let's, right off the bat, boom, boom, boom. Package is in a great position, a great shape. Gemini Mailer did its job. So now let's get to the important thing, getting this opened. So we can see the results. So let's see here. Okay. So, mm. Oh, upside down. And so we have Bronze Star. So. There we go. We got Bronze Star, and of course, we got the goodies. Let's take a look. See, let's open this up and see what goodies we got. So, do, 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 do. Okay, so we have a postcard, which is an advertisement for Florida Man 2. Florida Man versus Hogzilla. I uh, also have backed this. Um, loved, loved, loved the first one. So, of course, I was no brainer. Had to get, had to back the second one. So, then we have a Pat Broderick werewolf print, and this is black and white, which is gorgeous. Look at that. Take a close look. You can see all of the details and you know this is the stuff that i that, that you know this is my jam how look at that beautiful black and white and we have the color and even with the color you go in there you can see all the texture that he's put into this so great 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 and then looks like Ooh, you don't see too many of these. Look at this. This is a pull-out fold poster. And I'm going to have to back up for this. And it's done like a movie poster. So it's like the old fold-out posters. That's nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so we got our goodies. And then let's see here. There we go. Bronze Star, very nice. Okay, and bad. We got the Wanted, both uh, Broderick and Baron. Nice pin up there. Okay, we got a couple pages of pin ups, which is always very nice. What I really like about this is having a bunch of pin ups. Is it is now given them the material that we, they need that if they want next year to publish this in stores whether as a big fat book or whether they want to do it with a different cover or if they want to break this up into two three floppies and sell it in stores individually that way they have the ability to do that um, i'm always encouraging uh creators i always applaud creators that they do that that way they have the ability to get it out there, get the product out there into the stores. That way the, the, the regular normies that don't follow Comics Gate stuff or the crowdfunding scene have the opportunity to get good stuff that honestly we used to get from the mainstream, but we don't get anymore. Um, another thing also to point out, you guys know me. Okay, this is a Doritos book. They gave, yeah, they put, they had this available on multiple platforms or crowdfunded this from multiple platforms. That's how you do it. Don't allow an ideology of, oh, I have a beef against Kickstarter, therefore I'm never going to go there. I'm only going to go to Indiegogo. No, okay. Your crowd base doesn't care about your ideology. Okay, or I should say the customer doesn't care about their ideology. They care about where, where, what's most convenient to them. It's just like the old day. Oh, it's just like today, okay? You get people to go to Lowe's because that's all they ever go to. And then you get people to go to to go to uh, uh, Home Depot because that's all they ever go to, okay? 
if you're just selling one store and just one of those, okay, perfect example is Craftsman. Lowe's has the licensing for Craftsman, okay? That's minimalistic, okay? Uh, I know the reason why is because of uh, that ass hat that uh, used to own Sears, that owned Sears, uh, Eddie Lambert, okay? Instead of selling it, he should have leased it out and made it that was available at Lowe's and Home Depot. No. Okay? That's the reason why you, when you crowdfund, go for as many platforms you can get on to. Mike Barron, he's Doritos. Just like Billy Tucci, just like Graham Nolan, just like uh, uh, Andy Smith. Okay? So, I'm looking forward to reading this. Uh, you guys have a great day or a great evening. It's almost time for me to go to bed. And uh, remember, tomorrow, more, tomorrow I will be doing a uh, Saturday stippling and then on Sunday I'll be doing a Sunday stippling video. So, until then, remember, life is always stressful. Just take it all one dot.